Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. Well, today's major story is obviously the impact of Hurricane Earl, which is currently a Category 2 hurricane moving to the north-northeast at 18 miles per hour as of 8 a.m. This hurricane is going to continue to move to the north-northeast today and then curve off to the northeast eventually later on this afternoon, which will produce moderate to heavy rain along the New Jersey coast and off towards Long Island and scattered showers to some gusty winds um, over New York City and northeast New Jersey. If you're further away from the coast, you'll barely notice that Earl is even moving by you. Let's take a look at the satellite picture. This is the water vapor satellite picture for this morning, and basically you can clearly see that Earl is starting to fall under the influence of the upper level trough that is currently over the Ohio Valley. This trough will eventually force Earl to move to the northeast, and move just within the 4070 benchmark, which in the winter, we look for that benchmark for nor'easters to see whether they'll impact the New Jersey and mid-Atlantic coast. And in this case, if Earl was a nor'easter, we would be looking for significant impacts along the immediate coast. And that's exactly what we're going to have with this uh, hurricane for today. And the good news is that this trough is starting to pick up speed, and with that, so is Earl. So as it's currently moving to the north northeast at 18 miles per hour, I expect that to increase to 20 and later 24 miles per hour, uh, which will allow Hurricane Earl to exit out into the Atlantic rather quickly. In fact, by tomorrow, it'll just be a distant memory with clear skies, light winds, and very comfortable temperatures. On the surface map, we can see Earl is off the east coast, uh, moving to the north northeast. Our cold front is currently over the Ohio Valley. This cold front is going to produce some scattered showers and possibly even a few isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. I think the severe weather is going to be further south and west towards uh, West Virginia and Southern Virginia rather than anywhere in the northern Atlantic because the hurricane is importing marine air which will stabilize the atmosphere. But still, this cold front when it moves through eastern Pennsylvania and eventually the entire northern Atlantic will have the potential of enhancing the moisture that is currently over the northern Atlantic to produce some heavier downpours this evening. The cold front exits. It will be windy tomorrow, especially tomorrow morning, but then after that, high pressure is in control. So once Earl exits the east coast and the cold front blows through, high pressure that is currently over the plains will build in and basically remain over the northern Atlantic throughout this weekend and off through next week. In fact, it's going to be really pleasant this weekend. I mean, the last weekend of the summer, you'll have temperatures in the 70s and lower 80s, low humidity, clear skies, light winds. Be careful with the surf though because the riptides are still going to be pretty impressive, especially along the New Jersey coast. So just be careful with, with that aspect of the uh, beach weather for this weekend. But otherwise, hey, get out there and enjoy the weather. High pressure is going to continue to, imp to impact the northern Atlantic through this uh, coming week with clear skies. However, temperatures will start to increase into the 80s with increasing humidity as well. No signs of any precipitation once Earl leaves through Wednesday, possibly a few scattered showers on Thursday. That's your weather for the northern Atlantic. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA weather as your weather source. Have an excellent day. Stay safe out there.